Okay. from her quite early actually, I didn't know this. I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, you're supposed to run into her. You're supposed to run into the cave away from her. Wait, where are you supposed to run away to? Let me just make sure. I, I'm gonna Google it again. Yeah, you're supposed to run into the cave. What is wrong with me? You aren't supposed to run into the cave. Get away. Oh, shit. What's up? 
I was just thinking, you, me, and Andan should all hang out sometime. I think you should, we, you should we make great pals. Let's meet up later at our house. Like, shit. Come back here, you little punk. So hot, but I can't give up. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yes, you take a cup of water. You give Undyne the water. Yes. Oh, I was not gonna sit here for four or five hours, okay? I was not. And this is not gonna be the whole stream, okay? This is how we fighting undone. It's not gonna be the whole stream. One hour is enough. I thought I saw sounds, but okay. Okay, 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 I was thirsty, so I came from the waterfall, over from the waterfall to get a drink. Uh, yeah, you, you have to go see Undyne, hold on. Also, no cat headphones until my hat is, my hair is dry off to dinner, okay? I almost said my cat is dry, my hat, my cat isn't even wet. <gasps> Yeah, I might have put on a bit too much conditioner today. It's a box, fresh presume, presumably to be pushed. Why? I, I don't remember what this box is for, but okay. Bah! Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving locks. Bah! There's no art in that actionary mindless schnock. It's a timing based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest of my reaches of my mind. You. You're young. You still got hope. Gehehe. <laughs> Here. Try solving this block pushing puzzle. Where am I supposed to. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah! Forget it. This is generation is already hopeless. I haven't even pushed it yet, but okay. How do you want me to push it? There's no other direction I'm supposed to push it from. <laughs> You're confusing, man. Bah, never mind. I'll come back later. I need to go talk to Undyne.
Oh, the human wives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loved these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I bought a friend. Hi, I don't think we have thoughts. Thoughts? Why don't you two come in? Here, yeah, Undyne, my friend bought a gift for you on your own. Uh, thanks. I'll just, I'll uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> Thoughts. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no. Then why are you here, Dots? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. That's all frolic in the fields of friendship, not. Why would I even be friends with you? <laughs> If you weren't my house guest, I'll beat you up right now. You, the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne would be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I could make a friend of a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's a perfect revenge. Thought. Why don't you have a seat? Sit down in progress, yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set, what would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself, Doc. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can just use the spear. Yellowy, sticky yellow liquid, hot chocolate, green cylinder, tea box, winterly correct choice. I, I want the hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered that container is empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh, soda, actually. Even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think so is gross too. It watch your teeth, it watch your mind, it watch fighting it watch your fighting spirit, huh? Why do I have it? Dots. Sugar goes in that sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? The human ice cream woman? <laughs> Terrorize humanity with energy spheres, maybe. Are this ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes. What? Really? What? That was. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll... Fridge full food. The fridge. You want to have the entire fridge? No. <laughs> Believe me, I would gladly give you a f your fill of swords. If you want my beloved house gets. Okay, can I pick something else? I'm done. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll have to tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. 
<laughs> Tell me, folks, you really give me no other choice, do you? It will take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. It's burning, but other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best of my <laughs> absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea, that's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies, start off. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore, emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back, I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him out. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I have never seen someone more proud to get their ass kicked their butt kicked. <laughs> anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the royal guard. So, I'm the one who gets to chain dogs to fight. Like, a uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the royal guard. He's quite good, actually. I, I barely beat him, you know. I, I almost died at the very end. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I have one house left, I'm going to die. Oh, thank God he's giving me mercy, oh my God. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that, he's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's not weak, he's, he's actually pretty freaking tough, he is. It's just that he's too innocent and nice, it's, it's kind of true, it is. <laughs> he is too innocent and nice. <laughs> I mean, look, at, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you. Instead, I could never send him into battle. He get whipped into smart, into a smiling switch. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know. So uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh. Sorry, I was talking for too long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson? He was supposed to have that right now, and if he's not here to have it, he'll have to do it for him. Yes. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that... If I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> We're afraid. We're gonna be best friends. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. If it's in this vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to death with your fist. How do you pound? Strong! You punch the vegetables with a full force, you're not filled with tomato. Yeah, yeah, our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, we'll just break these into a bowl later. For now, I mean if the table's clean, it should be fine. We'll add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They are the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. Careful. Yeah. Eat 
throw everything into the pot as hard as you can. So I did. I meant to do carefully, not fiercely. It clanks against the empty bottle. Yeah, I'm into it. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more less water you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. The harder. Harder. Oh. <laughs> oh, let me do it. Ooh. No wonder the papyrus is so bad. Woo hoo hoo, that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove turn. Symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Get the house on fire! Oh no. See, this is how you. Ah, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Dots? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. Call out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my last fight. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. You pretend to swing it undone with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage. Even attacking at full force. You can't, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Dots, heh. You know what? I don't, I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid shun... Sh I don't even know how to read that word, snake, but... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. That's like him. Listen, human, it, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo -foo -foo. Oh, and if you hurt, do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human soul's cost barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, fight, right? Foo -hoo -hoo. Oh, let's get out of here, of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We have to hang out again some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with the pirates if you need me. Drop by Snowden, okay? Okay. And if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you. I'll see you later, punk. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is so funny. What? 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 It's a living. Probably finished up on my. <laughs> a lot of space left, actually. I didn't even know I had full food left. I thought I ran out of food.
This is just in case I have meet some monsters along the way. I can get more food data. Actual food. Let's do that box puzzle. I want to know what that does. Puzzle became a boss. Okay. Upon touching the box, regardless of which angle the box is touching, the angle is a bar, never mind. Touching the box again. But I was supposed to build a puzzle for this room, but I, oh, it doesn't actually do anything. You can't, you can't solve the puzzle. It doesn't, I don't think you can. Okay. I thought that way, there was a way to solve it, but apparently not. It's just a joke that Toby made again. It's to annoy us. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Sorry, Undyne like told. Sorry, Undyne like told us there was totally a human in the area. So like, us world guards are blocking off the elevators for now. And yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Yeah, I don't need to go back yet. I kind of want to see Undyne first, though. So. Tra la la, I'm the river man, or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Will you care to join me? Yes. Snow did. I want to see Undyne of a Papyrus for a bit. Tra-la-la, and the water is very wet today. Of course it is. Have you actually heard that water is actually dry? <laughs> I don't think that's real, by the way. I think some person made it up. Um, it could be real. It could not be. I can't completely believe it, okay? It's, it's on the internet. I don't believe everything you read on there. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Hey, bum, what's up? Achoo. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. 
so why don't we stand in Grobies instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Papyrus, why do you live in an icy wasteland? The wind's cheap. Really? Don't you live in a huge house? Yeah, but my brother pays for it. Where's your brother get the money to pay for it? Oh, uh, that's simple. It's a mystery. I, I'm so glad that okay, it's the same thing. Papyrus? Right, the same thing. Okay, I'm done now. Careful ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will you go today? Hotland. Then we're off. <laughs> Tra la la, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. I know. I see that. Come again sometime, tra la la. <laughs> it's you. It's too dark to see near the walls. Ah, okay. Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um, hiya. I'm, Al I'm Alphys. Um, hiya, I'm Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything in Haya is exactly what I say to every single customer at the table. <laughs> Haya! <laughs> I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So. Uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you to Hotland. I know a way right to Asgard's castle, no problem. Darts, well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot, uh, you know, the robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments like um, anti-human combat features. Of course, then I saw you coming. I mean, Jimmy decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have a teensy, I may have made a teensy mistake doing so. And um, now he's unstoppable, killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> But, um, hopefully you won't run into him. I'm pretty sure I will. He was quite hard to fight, to be honest. Thoughts? Did you hear something? Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome, beauties. <laughs> And today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before gorgeous. 
No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Oh, you die. That's a dawn of text. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Haha, <laughs> you wish wrong. The squid, squid show continues. Check. Metaton 10 attack. 999 defense! Wow! His def meta body renders him invulnerable to attack. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? As Paul Dreamer. Correct, what a terrific answer. The quiz show continues, Metaton. Cry. <laughs> Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you. Two tri- <laughs> What? Wrong, wrong, wrong! You drink the CT for speed boost and recover the day. 10 HP. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Completely, utterly wrong. Oh wait, no! I just realized! <laughs> Freaking out! Alphys gives you the answer. I didn't notice that. I just I've forgotten that she does give you the answer to this. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? It's quite obvious. Actually. What? The quiz show continues. Shit. Okay, I should have listened to Alphys. We need the crab apple. The HP is maxed out. You can can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. Great answer, I love it. This <laughs> face. <laughs> it's a simple one. How many letters is in the name Metaton? C. Of course, that was too easy for you. The crystal continues. Screaming is against the rules. Time to break out the big guns. Dating in the dating simulator. <laughs> you came. And it's a snail flavor, and she is <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the game. It is actually a very powerful message about friendship and Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, aren't you? She is. Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask the question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Alphys have a crush on? <laughs> See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, yeah, she scrolls her, her name into the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Yes, Undyne and Alphys, best couple ever. Best lesbian ship ever. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of course 101% margin of terror 1%. Well, well, well. With a doctor help is helping you, the soul has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but but this was the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more moments, more bloodshed. Until the next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something. Now, last time I put human. <laughs> that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Well, where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second. Please. Yeah, back then, the phones didn't have texting. You used to have a pager to text. What's up? Yeah, he was 
all the same thing, actually. I think you can only write a, a, a limit of words, really. It's like Twitter on that thing. It's, um, you use it and to check, to send a message to someone and then they call, you call them back. It's sort of this, that, that sort of thing. I broke my candy cane. Yeah, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. Yes, it even has social media, which is very annoying. And the game. Not in real life. I mean, it can be annoying in real life too, but... <laughs> using Twitter or Facebook. I have done that. I still use Facebook kind of, but just not as much as I used to. Um, now we're officially friends. <laughs> Some sign of puzzle in Snowden. Oh, is it that one with the tug? Oh, thank you, Elvis. Shouldn't do this on Twitch. <laughs> Is a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. This bag of dog food is half full. The space between the wall is a few feet wide. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Scientist books, scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside the book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Uh -huh. We had Asus and DVDs of various cartoons. They are labeled human history. Uh huh. The look inside the book is the same thing. Two Scandinavian cloud chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. A hideous and Joyce is running to school with a toast in his mouth. Seems like it's late. This is Then good chips from this machine. It's an Alpha's work table, seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here, Frogget, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Read your mail, Elvis. 
an incredible invention. When not in use, the bed, this bed falls into an extremely easy to draw box. Wow, okay, that's cool. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere on the flap that says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. There's a theory that Metaton was originally a ghost. Now first updated status, just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. You see what I mean? <laughs> well I know she's unbeatable, I'll ask her about it later. She is. Oh my gosh, shut up. For well, now I'm gonna call up the human and guide them.
I can't beat her, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> okay.
It's the middle box, I can't get out of the way. Everything looks so bad as he poses dramatically, like right when he's on the cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. My favorite metaphor moment is when he beats up a few turning villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a cook show. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come true. I heard that they hate spiders. I don't hate spiders. Oh, actually I do. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs up. I have never done that before. <laughs> Stomp on them, maybe. I actually stomped. I accidentally stomped on one once because I didn't see it. It was too dark. And the light switch was on the other side of the room. And even though there was another light shining on the room, I still could not see the spider. I literally thought it was something else. I didn't even see it at first and then when I saw it, it just moved and I was just like, oh shit, I stepped on it. Did it bite me when I did? As they're awfully stingy with their money. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You think your taste is too refined for your pastries, don't you? Oh, uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what um, this next batch meets. Muffins traps you. Struggle. You struggle to escape the web. Muffins covers the mouth and giggles at you. You don't look so blue, my dearie. I think purple is a better look on you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You pay 10 G, Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. Why is it pale? You should be proud. You pay 40 G, Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. How that you're going to make a delicious cake, poo poo poo. The price goes up every time, oh my god. Let you go, don't be silly. I 
Blue Me, I was about to induce you to, you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. about you. Mm. Offers us a lot of money for your show. Sweet smile and a hoo hoo. Your struggle to escape the fighter web, Muffet is so amused by your antics that she gives you a discount. It's a strange set, but I saw them in the shadows changing shape. I can cosplay her, but I don't have another f another pair of arms. Sansa, stay determined. I wish I had, you know. A spider donut from the ruins because. Oh, wait. Do I? I don't think I do. Let me go check my box. Can I go check my box? Should be able to go check my box. Where's my box? Um, boxes. I don't think I do have it. I think I ate it when I was fighting Toriel. Oh, shit. Yeah, you need it for that, remember? Then they think you stole it. all the attacks as or as long as I can until that spider comes and tells that I'm not as bad as they think I am. Thank you. 
I need two pads of pad as well. Thank you. 